What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy LB and we are back on other tutorial video. Guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to create this layeristic b-board inside after effect. So now let's get a jump on it. On it. Guys, for here I'm going to import first my image. So now you have to click here on this file. I'm going to import my image. Okay, this this one. And then yeah let me drop it here on this timeline of adobe after effect okay okay guys this is how my footage it is right so let me click here on fit to i have 100 so this is how my clip it is okay it is time lapse yes but the things i'm going to do i'm going to add something there on that b board right yeah this is how it is okay so in the next video and i will show you how to add some some stuff on this b board the best one which i'm going to use light click here and then click your trim comp to work earlier all right so now this is the length of how my clip i'm going to oh, yes to do it so now come here on this pen tool okay and then i'm going to select this b board okay Yes, I have to select using this pen tool. Yes, guys, take your time to select well this B board. Okay, much better. Guys, when I'm done, so let me back here on feed up 100. Okay, so when I am done, you have to click M on your keyboard and let me open up this mask so let me choose here on add you have to choose subtract guys as you see here this b-board is black okay it's transparent now i can add something behind on it okay right so and but here i can add some mask explanation you see how this mask border it is okay i can increase some few explanation let me back here on this fit up 100 yes the next step it is so come here on this view and then let me add some luda because i'm going to measure i'm going to measure about my b bird the length and the width for okay so i have to move down one line and then i have to move down the second one and then i have to move another line for this side and i have to put on this side of my b bird Alrighty guys, so as you see at the number of these Lula guys, right? You see this number is 525, five, okay, for this first light, okay, and this second one it is 675. So for this line on the top, this line yeah, you see it is 1275, for this first one it is 925. So the things I'm going to do it is and I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to calculate my number, okay? I have to take this 675 minus 525, okay? So the number I got it is the number of one side. Maybe it's a number of, yes, 100, 150. And then I have to take this 1275 minus nine to 25 so number i already got is 350 so after getting this number guys i'm going to jump on and um, on adobe photoshop and uh, you have to create the new file okay so for this new file and then we are going to use that number we already got so the width if you have been got it is 350 and the height it is 150 right that reason why you have to create that number and then you have to create to click here on create okay you see for this b board and i'm going to add my image you have to go here on the file click open and this is my image where yeah the image that i'm going to use for this b board okay so i have to add for this major for this b board you see guys when i am adding for my b board the image becomes big you have to reduce okay 
have to reduce uh, something like this yes this is much better perfect okay when you have already add your image guys then you have to back maybe you have already saved the image as png or gpn so you have to add my image here. okay and they have to move it down here okay have to move it down here you see move it down here behind or bottom of this main clip okay yeah something like this this is much better guys you have to try to increase yeah depend how you see guys is already fit on my b-boy that's nice okay that's nice so i have to add some details okay you have to search this effect called mesh warp okay this mesh warp you have to add it on this poster okay and then come here on this mesh warp setting you have to reduce this low is one this column is also one for this quality you have to add to 10 okay and then i'm going to match well with my point right so you have to zoom it and then you have to match well with this point yeah something like this you have to pick one one by one okay for this point right yeah, something like this you see guys you have to make sure if your point of your poster it is matching with the point of that b bond right yes that reason why you have to make sure guys yes so now let me come back here on the third point and you have to move it here well in the corner yes and the last one too i have to move it in this way so now my, as you see yeah, my poster is fitting well with my paper so light click here and then go on new and i'm going to create the solid yes for this solid is also have that major yes that number that i have been got okay 350 and 150 yes that's cool okay and then you have to add the black yeah not black yeah the gray the gray one okay and then you click okay you see what i got so after getting this solid on my poster and you have to move down move yes move down here under of this main main clip and you have to try to zoom it where yes to fit it well on my on my b board yes all right and then yeah maybe this is yeah this is much better guys this is nice and i'm going to add also some effect and then you have to search the effect called the cc ball action and then you have to drop it here on this solid layer right and then you come back here on this effect settings right you have let me try to decrease yes i have, I have to add two for this grid spacing yes yeah let me add one this is much better and then for this small this ball size you see guys how it is it looks like it is red screen guys you know the red screen which is on the street and i'm going to add another effect called mesh warp yeah the first one have been used for measuring my point okay and i have to also to add on it for this solid layer okay and for this low you have to add one and this column you have to add one for this quality it is 10 yes and then you come back here to measure what to measure my point yeah measure my point just like this yeah something like this this is nice this is nice yes okay so when you're done and also 
as I'm going to create the other one sorry okay light create you go here on new and then create the solid also yes for this solid must be have the white yes you have to create two solids one for gray and the other one for white and then let me put it down again here under for this main clip okay you have to put it here in this way something like this and then i'm going to copy this setting for this first solid layer and this one and this cc ball action and this mesh wrap we have to paste it here on this second solid layer for white you guys you see how my stuff it is so the things i'm going to do i'm going to try to reduce this white which is on it by reducing this opacity you see yeah this is this is nice this is nice and if you have any video you can add on it is not necessary to add some image yes you can use image if you want you can use any video you want yes it is also the same right okay so now you have to close this layer and then let me back here on this fit and then you see how this b board is guys this is look nice yeah, it looks nice guys it looks nice and then maybe i can add this glow effect here on this poster so and i have to try to increase this threshold radius intensity to balance it with my video depend what climate do i have for my video so you have to try to balance this effect for this glow in order to adding in your clip or in your image okay so for me maybe this is enough this is enough there is no other things that i can that i can add or need in this image this is much better for me okay so and i'm going to create an adjustment layer right for adding some noise so you have to create this adjustment layer and then go here on effect and create something called noise yeah i'm going to add noise in the whole videos okay in order to match well with my image and b and b board in the poster so let me try to increase this amount of noise guys you see how my yes you see how the noise is too much let me try to reduce yeah this is perfect so guys if you like my video maybe you have been saw how you can create this effect inside adobe after effect if you have any question please link it in the comment down below i just want to know what you think like and share don't forget to subscribe see you in next video peace